in this video, we will discuss about how do you upload Pables invoices into Oracle ERP cloud using FBDI, which is file based data import. What are the process? What is the process to upload payable invoices into the ERP? So first thing first, we are going to discuss how you will upload the files into the ERP. And once it is done, we can automate the same thing via Oracle integration as well. But first discuss how do you upload the invoices manually into Oracle ERP? So let's begin. So what you need to do to, to start this guy, what you need is you need the source file where actually data resides. The source data file, you can consider the file which is coming from your partners, which is coming from your application and where the data is. Then you have to generate the FBDI template. You need the, you need the FBDI template for the payables invoice. So this template actually will help you to prepare your data in the file that is required for the ERP. So that template we can download from Oracle and using that template uh, from Oracle documentation and using that template, we can prepare the file using the data that is we have in the source file. And then you need to create one property file also, which will give instruction to Oracle ERP. Hey, the data needs to go for that particular business unit or ledger and something else, meaning we are simply giving instruction. So let's begin and see how you are going to achieve the same. First thing first, I will show you the template from where you can download the template because that is the first prerequisite and then you need to prepare the data into that format. So let's go to Oracle documentation here and then you can search this payable standard invoice import. And once you do this here, you can see here is the template payable standard invoice import template.xlxm. So you need to download this template and this template will have three worksheet. So once it is downloaded, I will show you, I already have downloaded that file here. Here is the file, financials, cloud, payables, invoice, import interface. So here we have three instructions and CSV generation, AP invoices interface, AP invoices lines interface. So if you see here, AP invoice line, AP invoices interface has multiple columns here, but all those columns are not mandatory to fill and all those columns cannot come from your source data file as well. And if you see, I have the first column as the invoice ID. The invoice ID, there's a invoice ID, the business unit, from where the data is coming, the invoice number, the amount, invoice date, supplier name, supplier number, supplier site. So you may not need all the information, but whatever information is marked with asterisk, you need in the, in the actual file. So if you see invoice ID, right? And similarly invoice ID 100, that is your header file. But for that invoice ID, you may have multiple lines in the lines mm -hmm. file. You see, under for that hundred, we may have multiple files, meaning your source file can have data line wise, right? And then you need to create the lines file and the header file also. So you have to create two different files from the single file, or sometimes source system can provide two different files, one with the header, second with the lines, sometimes one. And as a integration developer, you may need to generate two files, okay? Now, what you need to do, you need to simply say generate CSV file button. If macros is enabled, then only this generate CSV file button will work. When you click here, it will generate two CSV file, invoice interfaces, invoice lines interface. So the two file will be generated and will be downloaded in your system when you click on this generate CSV file. So that file will have those data, that is sample data, but you will not have headers. You will not have headers in the generated file. You will only have the 
data sample data. You may need to remove the sample data from the downloaded file and provide your own data. Same thing for this as well. But, but please make sure data is valid, like the business unit. Maybe you are giving business unit as a US business unit or it's a vision operation, but that vision operation does not exist in your ERP system, then your file may fail. Like the supplier name, the supplier name you are giving the advanced network devices may be possible. That supplier name does not exist, meaning, meaning you are providing in incorrect supplier, like supplier number. So please make sure when you are doing this, the supplier name, supplier number, supplier site should be in the matching combination. Otherwise, your files will fail. The currency, payment currency, description, import set. Import set is required. Import set is required because you have two-step process. When you will do this FBDI, one is to import interface uh, file. Then second, load interface file. And then second would be import. So when you will import, you have to tell, hey, this is the import set that I wanted to load. Maybe you are importing and something someone else is also importing. Then which data should be imported? So that will be the unique identifier that you have to provide in the file. And then invoice standard, legal entity may be blank and something else. Payment terms should be there, term state should be there. And you can see there are a lot of data. You don't need all the data. But yes, whatever fields are marked with the asterisk, you need it. Similarly, for invoice lines interface as well. Now, I'm going to show the source file that we have here. Okay. So that is the file, invoice file, right? Where I have the invoice ID, invoice number, amount. Here you can see I have a single file where I have one invoice with two lines and total amount is 300 of one invoice and we have a, another invoice id 5125 and again amount is 1000 and each invoice will have two lines meaning i am getting only single file i am getting only single file from the source system and i need to generate two as per the template that we discussed so here is the data like supplier, supplier site, invoice, business unit, invoice currency, payment currency, payment term. So these are the data that I'm getting and I need to create and we need to create two files from this one for the header and second for the lines. So I have already prepared and let me show you the. Here you can see this is the file, the AP invoices interface and please make sure the file should have the name AP invoices interface. So you can see invoice ID, the business unit, the source, the invoice number, the total amount. So you remember we had two lines for one invoice, right? Like 200 and 300 lines. So meaning one with amount 200 and second line was with amount 300. So here we have the sum. Same thing for the second invoice as well. So 1700, right? And then we have this lease supplies and then the supplier name, then supplier side, the payment currency, invoice currency, and then description. And here int 004. This is your import set name that you will also need when you will use import papers invoice program and then term and then date and you have this complete data if you go by and you will see here the last row will be ended with and so this is the first file that you have to generate which is your header and similarly i will show the second file as well so here is the second file so here you can see 8124 and two lines one two 200 300 line one description right and then date and then again it goes to the end and the last column would be ended as a end similarly the second invoice the second invoice 8125 8125 two lines amounts 800 900 1700 the description and something else so you have to prepare these two files one invoice interface and second is invoice lines interface 
and then the last one you should have here is the properties file the first is job definition the job name the zip file prefix the three parameters that you have to give the every properties file whether it's a ap in properties file or the supplier you have to use these three but this definition name job name and this may be different and then you have 12 total 14 arguments to give the first will be none the second would be the second would be business unit id for which you are uploading the invoices and then third hard coded and then null 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 then 1000 hard coded then external as a source then here int 004 like in my interface uh in the lines table also in the header also i have given integer 004 meaning the set id import set which i have to remember then n n and then uh lesser id null and then one so these are the total 14 parameters that you have to give if remember if the properties file value is incorrect your import program will fail and you will have to correct your properties file please make sure you have the correct data now next thing is what you need to do i have all now what i have to do i have to simply say and then let's say compress as a the seven zip right and please make sure the file path should be like ap invoices Let's say AP invoices 25, maybe 02, 27. Okay, so you have to upload this zip file in your ERP. So let's go to the ERP and let's do the same. Okay, here is my ERP. Let's try to upload the same file here. Click here and go to tools and schedule process. And let's say schedule new process and choose load interface file. This is the program that has to be run. Load interface file for import. Click OK. And when you do this OK, it will ask for which import process, which is my import paper invoices. Import paper. Select this import tables invoices. Okay. And there you will give the data file. Data file I will choose from my machine as I upload a new file. The file has been selected here. Okay. And let's say submit. When you submit, it will run multiple child soap as well. This is your process ID. Okay. And let's say refresh. So here, when you refresh, it will run multiple jobs. You can see load interface file for import is waiting. This is the program and it will kick off another sub program. You have to wait. So here you can see transfer files, load interface file for import and then transferring the file. There is the another job and succeeded also. And then it will have, it is also succeeded and there will be two more jobs that will run load file to interface load file to interface because we had two files both are done so all the child processes are completed you can simply click here and then and then view the status as well and then you can load you can download the log file to see what how many data has been imported into the interface table after this interface program runs you need to import you need to run your import program let's do this load so the program will be import table import table invoices import table invoices that is the program that you need to run okay all right here and uh, let the another box to open where you need to set the parameters so we are running for us one business unit 
it will show the US business unit one here. And then it will choose ledger, US primary ledger, and choose source, which is your external. Import set is important. So I'm going to take the same import set which we gave in our properties file as well as the header file. Let's come here and then choose invoice group. You can leave as is and then hold and then hold reason, accounting date, purge no, summarize report, number of parallel processes, leave it and then run this program, submit. So it will run this import tables invoices and load your data from interface table to the main table. 183 in the last. Okay, let's refresh it. So it will have two jobs, import tables invoices and import table invoices. It will run two programs, you can see one program is your first program and then it will run your BIP report program as well where you will get a how many records are successful, how many invoices are loaded successfully. So you can see it also runs succeeded. Click here. If I scroll down, you can see it is sent. Click here to see the status as the PDF. You see invoice import in T004. And if I scroll down, you can see table open interface audit report. We have two, 8123, 8124. One invoice amount is 500 and second is 1700. That is only loaded. And here we had two lines, one, two, 200, 300. Again, for this also one, two, 800, 90. Now you can see those two in your invoices. Click here, come here, you can search. Go to the tables here and go to the invoices and you can search that invoice from here as well. 8123. Here you can see 8123. With invoice amount this and then you can go to the lines, line one, line two. Similarly, you can search another one, which one 8124. And let's say search. 8124 is also here with invoice amount 1700 amount, second amount, line one, line two. So this is how you can run your FBDI job in Oracle ERP directly, guys. And I hope you find this useful. Thank you. Bye-bye.